Dennis Kappel here, and today we're going to talk about how to use the fence to help you get gain more respect from your horse and raise trust at the same time. Uh, I'm going to just send this horse around me here, and <clears throat> I want you to notice how he goes around. I send him forward, and do you see that his hind end is wanting to swing out? See that? And his rib cage is kind of pushing to the outside. <clears throat> That's I've, I've noticed is a pretty common theme that people have when, when they're sending their horses around forward motion. So when the horse is sticking his rib to the outside and his hip is, is actually traveling faster than the front end, they're essentially up against the outside boundary and they're avoiding listening to you. And they're really just trying to get away from you. So I'm going to go over here by the fence, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to stand probably maybe uh, six foot from the fence to start with. And what that's going to do is create a, a sort of a pressure vacuum where the fence is putting pressure on and I'm putting pressure on. If you notice that this horse just went up to that pressure point and stopped. I didn't tell him to stop. He was feeling the pressure. So here's how you establish respect. I'm going to ask him to come through. And he walked on through there. But I, now, when he went by, though, he was continuing on. I wanted him to stop. I'll send him. He's pushing on me just a little bit as he comes through that barrier. So he's coming off of the fence and pushing into me. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him again. What I want him to do is come through, then move his hip away, and then crawl his front end back up to the fence. And then I'm going to ask him to come forward again. Take the hip and crawl his front end back up to the fence. Right there is resistance. When I felt that resistance of him not wanting to come through that pressure, that gave me an opportunity to re reinforce that forward. And right now he's using more energy than I need him to use. So I want him to just come through here with feel. There's a feel and he walked on through. There's a feel for the hind end, there's a feel for the front end. There's the field for coming forward, and he's resisting. So he caused me to follow up with the rope because he wasn't responding to the field. The field I'm talking about is this. Contact with his head from the lead rope. Field down to his feet. He, need, he needed to follow up there to come on through. Come on, horse. See that resistance? When he stopped and just planted his feet and stuck his head in the air, that's resistance that you're going to experience from time to time when you're riding. And here's the time to get to deal with it. It's right here on the ground. So the fence serves as a wonderful barrier to keep your horses from avoiding listening to you. You create a situation where listening to you, see him push on me right there? And he raced through. I don't want him in any hurry to get through there. I just want him to walk through with confidence. See, when he come through right there, he was pushing on me with, my, with his rib. Now there's a yield, see. That's the attitude that I wanted right there. Send him back around. He's pushing on me here. So that gave me an opportunity to rise up. Get him off of me. Forward. Now, you can keep getting a little bit closer to the fence. Right now, I'm only about three foot away from the fence, so it's a real narrow pass through there, so he's feeling more resistance. But you can see that his attitude is getting very good. And I don't have to do much here to get that horse to respond for me. Hip, front end, walk through with feel. Hip, front end, walk through with feel. 
Now I want him to stop between me and that fence right here. He went on through. I'll send him back around. I want him to stop right there. He went on through. I want him to stop right there. He went on through. I'm going to ask him to back up. When he stopped, he was leaning on me. He wasn't stopped with a good attitude. That's why I asked him to back up. Back up. Get over. The fence is pushing towards me. <laughs> so when I ask him to stop, that's the spot in this exercise that the horse feels the most pressure from. So what I'm doing is getting this horse comfortable under pressure here. I'm giving him the opportunity to know that he can he can feel the pressure from me, he can feel the pressure from the wall, and he can stand here and get comfortable in it. So these are some ideas for you to incorporate into your groundwork that we'll build on. We're going to add to this exercise later on, but today this is all I wanted to accomplish with you was to show you how to use that wall to keep the horse from avoiding you going out, how to use that wall as an opportunity to overcome pressure with that the horse was feeling, how to increase respect from the horse and increase trust at the same time using the fence and your essential groundwork.